Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly track and stabilize 360 driving footage using Canvas 360 and Adobe After Effects CC 2018. We'll start by naming our Canvas project and selecting our media, which automatically fills in the map type, FPS, and duration. Super quick. Now we have our 360 composition in After Effects. We're going to find the best POV to track. And right away I could tell you it's not this. We have independently moving objects such as the cars and this bright spot and flares will cause camera solve issues for After Effects' 3D camera tracker. So I want to stay away from those. I really like this, these buildings right here. They seem to offer a lot of hope. But I don't like the fact that the horizon is off this much. So I will go ahead and correct it quickly. And you'll notice that will punch out these other cars as well. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and name this POV track one and save it. On our POV list, you'll notice there's default, which is the default view the media loaded up with. And we have our track. And this is what we're going to use for our tracking. I'm going to go ahead to the tracking tab, select our 360 pass. The point of view, we will use track one and press track. At this stage, you do not want to touch anything and let the computer figure out the track and get to the solving orange banner. We try not to edit our tutorials, so I'll let this one run. It's under a minute. Just around 10 seconds. So now, the camera is solving and we should not have any problems and we have lots of good tracking marks. One thing you want to be aware of is you could move the, the your timeline up and down, the cursor up and down to look at different track marks, but do not use the camera tool at this stage. So let's get away from the camera tool and find a happy place to create a quick text. And we're just going to call this canvas and we're going to quickly change the orientation a little bit, smooth it out. And we'll go back to our tracking and do one more. Now this time I'm just going to add a solid and I'll just leave it there. I'm happy with it. Now we're going to bake this text file this solid and the 3d camera track together and what i mean by that is you go to tracking and under inject tracking data you're going to select track one the pov and you're going to add this data together and there you have it i'm going to go ahead and turn the camera here and one thing to notice under pov you have your default view and you remember, this is choppy choppy. It's not uh, very stabilized at all. This is the raw footage. And there you can see uh, it's kind of choppy. And then when we go to stabilized and you have your stabilized view, it is super smooth and it does not get bumpy at all. And if we turn the camera around, you can see the solid and the text file are both present and moving super smooth with the media. Now I want to output this. Go to project, output in 360. From our POV we're going to select our stabilized. For our map we're going to select the 43Q map. Resolution you can go up to 10K. For this I'm going to select 4K and update. And this is my 4K cube map of my stabilized view. And I'm going to go ahead and for viewing purposes just quickly change this with the immersive video converter to QMap and 
it gives me a nice echo rectangular image of the stabilized media and there you go now I could go ahead and export this using media encoder or render queue I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please leave your comments and let us know what other type of tutorials you'd like to see